Welcome back everybody, Laura here. So here's a quick map overview of our trip out to the Woodland Tower from the Outskirts Stable. We did quite a lot on the way, so I'll walk you through it as we go. So we left out from the stable, headed north. We took a sharp right just before the bridge. We played basketball with that Karak seed, ring of rocks out in the water. Uh, we had to put the ball and chain in the hole with Magnesis there. A buried treasure chest. And don't forget there is a traveler sword there just in case you wanted that for the weapon connoisseur. A husk in the hollow of a tree. Rock to pick up inside a well. And this crack seed here was a apple in the offering bowl in front of a statue. And this is right out in front of the... We actually did some of this. Uh, on our lap around the Great Plateau, but I'll go ahead and point it all out now since we're kind of in the area. So we had a Karak seed here. It's in the hollow of a tree. Use a bomb to blow it up. It's actually in a log that's laying down on its side. Uh, rock to pick up. Rock to pick up. Tree stump with a pinwheel. Shoot the flying husks. Uh, a swirling, glistening pile of leaves running around. Treasure chest on top of the Colosseum wall. Same thing with that one, more or less. It's pretty close to the top. Uh, Croc seed, pick up the rock. That star is all the way down at the bottom level of the Colosseum from the inside. So you'll probably want to kill the Lionel before you attempt to get it. And that was actually a DLC treasure chest. One of the Phantasma armor pieces. Alright, from there I think we have... This Karoxide actually starts over here in this tree. Um, step on the pedestal on the top of that tree. Ring of lights, you have to get there before it runs out. Husk hanging down underneath the bridge. Rock to pick up. That one's real tricky, it's on a ledge. Chest underwater. Puzzle block. Ring of rocks, complete the pattern. And I think from there... We went... Hyrule Garrison has quite a few treasure chests. Uh, most of these are out in the open. Uh, this one right here is another piece of the Phantasma Armor DLC treasure chest. That one's actually pretty well hidden. It's underground and it's behind a decayed guardian looking thing. Uh, climb to the top of the flagpole, Karak Seed. Uh, shoot the husk hanging down within a decayed wagon. Climb to the top of the flagpole. Oh boy. I think that one was a balloon to pop at the top of a tree. And that was a swirling, glistening pile of leaves running around. I believe that was a husk in the hollow of a tree. Or maybe that's the balloon. And maybe that's the husk. Either way, look up. You'll see it. And that was a, a stump, tree stump with a pinwheel and a husk flying around. Then we went up here to this little fountain. That was a memory. And of course you can only do that after you complete certain tasks of the game, like talking to Impa after you complete Hot No. That was the, the third DLC treasure chest for the Phantasma armor. Croc seed on top of a stone pillar. Okay, from there we traveled south to the exchange ruins. Now, I didn't actually get it, but that's for the uh, Tingle armor. I hated the Tingle suit, so I never just, I just never get them. That was a glistening, swirling pile of leaves running around. Uh, that's a treasure chest underground. Use Magnesis, pull it up. Out in the open. Out in the open. A uh, yellow flower starts here. Turns white and ends there. Husk hanging down from a tree. Underwater. And we actually got these off the Great Plateau, but I'll go ahead and make sure, because I don't think I came over this far. We didn't have the map yet. Swirling, glistening pile of leaves. This is just north of the Great Plateau now, by the way. Uh, pinwheel on top, shoot the balloons. And floating treasure chest. That was the Majora's Mask. Very handy. We got that right off the Great Plateau as soon as we finished Great Plateau. Very handy to have, very early game. 
Uh, blow up the pile of leaves, pick up the rock, and ring of lily pads, dive through the center. Where else did we go? We hit it out east from there. Uh, swirling, glistening pile of leaves. I should probably back out a bit for you, huh? Glistening, swirling pile of leaves. Complete the ring of rocks. And I think that one was a rock to pick up on the top of that tree. And that one was a husk in the hollow of a tree. So from there, we went out. You got a sunken treasure chest there. You also have a big hearty radish there, by the way. And I don't have the map here yet, so I might wait until later to kind of point that stuff out. Kind of hard to see exactly what you're doing without a map, you know? Yeah, I agree. All right, shutting up. So, let's jump over here. That treasure chest is at the top of a stone pillar, as well as that one. No, stand by. It's that one. It's right on the other side of this bridge here. Uh, Karak seed right underneath the bridge. Pick up the rock. That one is underwater in the river. That's part of a side quest. Talk to the guy standing there to get that going. Uh, climb the stone pillar. Push the boulder off into the divot. Offer apple into the offering tray. Climb to the top. Pick up the rock. Series of three trees. Match the fruit. And moving up north, this is Sleepy Hollow. Uh, all these little hollowed out trees either have a crack seed or a treasure chest, so just check them all. Good times. They're all out in the open, by the way. Uh, let's see here, crack seeds. That one's at the top of the mountain. Pick up the rock in the old decayed hollow of a tree trunk. Or a tree stump, I guess you should say. Climb to the top of the tree, swirling, glistening pile of leaves up there. Uh, there should be a pinwheel on this one. Uh, shoot the balloons. No, scratch that. That was that one is underneath an old decayed uh, tree log that's lying on its side. Just go in there, go under it, and pick up the rock. This is the pinwheel on top of a tree log. Shoot the balloons. All right, then we got odd set bridge or whatever that is. Treasure chest under the water, under the bridge. Husk hanging down under the bridge. Underwater. 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 And you guessed it, underwater. Swirling, glistening pile of leaves. Play basketball with the ring of rocks in the water. You'll probably need one or two ice blocks for that one. Can't remember which. Uh, jump through the ring of lily pads. Pick up the rock. It's in the middle of a fountain. Husk in the hollow of a tree. On top of a mountain top out in the open. And that one is within a little hill. You gotta blow up the false wall to get to it. Uh, this crack seed here, the block is on this side. You gotta pull it out of that puzzle. Get it across the river. Put it in that puzzle. Alright folks, that's pretty much it, at least of what we have the map for. We did some other stuff, but I can't really show you because, well, we don't have the map. So, uh, yeah, I'll come back to all that other stuff at a later time. Actually, I do have the map for this. This is uh, right next to Woodland Stable here. The pond next to that, so I'll back out a little for you. Okay, so puzzle block. The block is actually underwater. Use your red rune, you'll see it. And ring of lily pads. That treasure chest is activated by feeding the dog three pieces of food after you get the pink puff of smoke. Uh, there's some more treasure in the area. I just didn't get it. I kind of forgot about it. But there's a treasure chest in this half-sunken skull. That's 100 rupees, a silver rupee. Uh, there's another... Skull. I think it's like right here. There's actually two treasure chests in there. And from this side, it actually just looks like another little hill. But it's actually a skull. Actually, I think this is it. 
So yeah, just make sure that you're on this side of the river. You'll see it. Uh, you'll have to kind of ice block over there, throw some bombs to blow up the false wall so you can actually get in there. And like I said, there's two treasure chests in there. Uh, one is something I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Gemstone, maybe. And then a weapon I never really care to stock anyway. And there's also several sunken treasure chests in the area. I think there's two right by the pier. And there's one out a little ways. And that's just going off memory. So you might have to look around a little for those. But all in all, that's about what's there. All right, folks, that's pretty much it. I know that we covered a lot just now, but I really need to get some stamps back, so it was probably about time. Another thing I wanted to point out while we're on the subject is all these stars is a DLC treasure chest. That one was the bunny hood. It's under a stone hand, really tight quarters in there. Uh, this was the Zant helmet, makes you unfreezable. Good times. And I already deleted the stars... For the, uh, God, I'm brain farting. For the, uh, the Phantom Ganon armor, which is the disguise bone attack up set bonus, which is really awesome. Anyway, one piece is underwater there. One piece is underground over here somewhere, and it's right next to a, a bird statue, the broken bird statue. And last but not least, we had one under this here bridge in between the two waterfalls. It's underwater. So yeah, I think I deleted some of those just to kind of recoup my stamps. Uh, this was one of the horse gear, the ancient horse saddle, I think. And the ancient horse brittle was up here on uh, Gold Rush Mountain. Uh, I already covered that star. This one here was the the lobster shirt from the Wind Waker. And I think that's pretty much it, folks. Happy hunting out there. Best of luck. If you have trouble finding any of that, just go back through my videos, and I'll show you very specifically how I got it. Best of luck.